Yes, indeed. We're into the action. No waiting around. NIP Astralis. And on the T side's map pick as well, it's going to be Dust2 to start the series. We've got a bit of a train and maybe some Inferno coming up as a third. If we get there, NIP are going to have to fight for that. Easier said than done. Rez, he's above the cat smoke. Magis is lower. Lots of armor for Astralis. Only the flash smoke combo on Glaive. He's already dropped his on Xbox. And now Astralis is going to try and pinch into middle. Smoke fading. Rez getting tapped from lower. How do they even see him? Astralis, they're out through mid. And with a pick, Twist is dead. That might draw rotations. But Astralis aren't taking mid as they jump up the catwalk. NIP fall back into a 2-2 setup, regaining that long control. But funnily enough, that's exactly where Astralis are going. Yeah, look at Rez. He's set up for the shot. He's going to get Goosh. That's going to force him to back away here. You look at an 8 HP Rez, and you think, well, what can be done here? Surely not can do something. Nope, not going to happen. Rez, though, he's got something to say. Still a little fight with him. So he backs off into the spawn, and we look at Harry Russell in this moment for extreme guidance. Yeah, extreme guidance, man. Well, Plopsky, oh, <laughs> he's already been dinked over towards Shaw. And that's the thing, man. These Glocks have just been headshotting everyone on the first peak, it feels like, which has left Rez and Plopsky very, very low in this retake. I'm just going to start to get that bomb planted. NIP with two from Cat and one creeping up through CT. Hampus now spotted. They know about him. And they've even got Device coming in on this late lurk in through the catwalk. That could have these... Oh, well, Magisk is like, ha, 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 Device, man, you ain't getting them. You ain't getting them. As he takes them both down, S-Tag is there to help out. And Astralis, they do find themselves the pistol round. They get off to this 1-0 start they were looking for. Not the force in round two. I feel like we see CT forces every single uh, opportunity, every single attempt uh, nowadays. But on a map like Dust, it does make sense why NIP want to hold some of their cash. This is quite the uh, the eco, though. Might even still be a double eco for NIP. Device already out long. The grenade lands past him, and he gets a pick through the pole. Back out lower for Astralis. Mid flash could be a problem. It's only Hampus here. He's fully blind and he's going to get run down. Astralis with three out middle. They can just take the B side right now. Hampus pulling over for, uh, away off of this long pick is the perfect bait for Astralis. It's now B is completely uncontested. The smoke spam is all the NIP have to muster in this round and it's going to get dodged as Astralis run B. And just like that, that might be the round, sadly, for NIP, as uh, they're left in a four-on-five retake at the B site. Now, there is a chance that they can find Device and take that Galil away. Oh, Devi. Look at this, man. Astralis are hunting. They're yeah. just running the gauntlet down into CT. I like this. Like, it's weird to see Glaive being the guy, like, who's just, you know, went from being this, like, tactical mastermind, right, called, like, one of the... One of the, one of the, like, I can't even think of a good word for goat, it, man. I think is what you're talking about. Yeah, you know, he could, he could be one of these goats. And, man, <laughs> wait. You know, he called everything so that it wasn't, it wasn't necessarily safe, but it was like so by the numbers and so orchestrated. And now, like in this team, he's frequently the guy who like when they're in a five on four with the bomb down, he'll just run down mid screaming UMP out, <laughs> trying to find people. And yeah, they lose S tag, but that's not the end of the world here for Astralis. There is an investment that could come through for NIP here and now. But it's not going to be great as a result of buying somewhat in that second round. They do this every now and again where they just buy deagles and then they have like a another round of just deagles. I didn't know if 100% the noise that Hugo made was in fact a goat or a sheep. Now, I will have to go back and look at the VOD later. Yeah. But the question still stands. What do you think it is? Join the SL.GG slash fan camps. Get in there. Dress up as either a goat or a sheep and we'll let you know. More flashes on long for NIP. Device is trapped here. He's been trying to sell these fakes on his own. Now he's just going to try and get out alive. Hampers won't allow it, but he doesn't have much say in the matter. The Galil dropped and Molly follows up and Device falls off. He gets out alive. Oh, right. That is unfortunate for NIP. But Astralis, hell, they, they'll take it. Again, same strat, run out mid as the players are drawn towards long. Device knew he had at least three at long for a moment. Plopsky's pushed tunnel, but he's not going to find any lurker here. Glaive is in middle, uh, still patrolling the catwalk, and Device has not left long. So nice re-aggression for Plopsky. He knew that B was going to be lost regardless, but he won't get anything to show for it. And Glaive is hunting this, uh, this uh, rifle down on short. 
Oh dear. That's a nice grenade. Very well placed. Not a whole lot of bullets left and unfortunately didn't wear his back plates of his Kevlar today. Swiss takes him out. But Dupree and Majisk have all but solidified this round at this point. So you can count this one done. Dada. Finito. Unless Plopsky did something miraculous, which we all knew wasn't going to happen. But there was that glimmer of hope. A shimmer in the light. Astralis up three. The Ninjas down by three. Yeah, that's how, that's how numbers work. Maths confirmed. <laughs> Uh, do Astralis have new photos? Is it just me when, when we're spectating them? Are those new? I saw that uh, Dupree had a new one on Twitter. Yeah, these look new. Sure. I feel like th we've not seen... No, these they definitely look new. Didn't they get a new jersey? Yeah, so... Oh, well, yeah. there was a tweet about it, right? Like, yeah. Instagram Actually, post. Actually, wait, Trace, where is New Jersey? Uh, it's right up there <laughs> next to uh, Montana. Oh, nice. And the Yukon. Well, we've gone over our geography, but now... Uh, we need to look towards something else as this fast B plays come in. And that there was the ultimate get out of jail free card. Looking towards something else is device down here in middle. Into this four on three for Astralis. And the bomb down NIP, you won't believe it. <laughs> you won't believe what's going to happen here in their first rifle oh, round. Oh no, you don't say it. Might have to be a save trace. I know you don't like those words. I do have Rez Ooh. who's been able to get past device. What a spot. Got into oh, the car no. and Device has got no idea. <laughs> Neither of them do. Yeah. All right, I'll just put my head down. Device, you don't look over here. We'll call it even. What do you think? If Device jumped once more, he would have been seen. Oh, oh no. now he's dead. Oh, no, Knife no, out. Device. device has no clue. Rez. No rush to this one. See if he can get more than one. S tag as well. Nice. Jumping through the air. Reds. Oh dear, it's messy. It's not pretty, but it is a 3K. Might be able to find the fourth and the orb that's dropped at his feet. Going back against Magis, he will fall. And so no AWP save for NIP, but great economical damage that while won't have effect here, could do in the later stages, especially if NIP buy around that save. They would love three guns, though. And I like the precedent Astralis are already setting just four rounds into this map, right? The same anti-eco back-to-back rounds with Device getting the attention long and bursting to a mid to B. And now just a full five-man B hit. B rush, guys, as Astralis take another round. And NIP won't force by round two guns. So Astralis, they're in a great position right now. They're even going to trade one out long as well. Hampus got that mid pick with the AWP onto Device. Actually winning out that head-to-head. -head, but Astralis do kill one at long and take that instead. Yeah, no matter what though, that Hampus AWP is gonna have to come into play in this round if they want a shot at it. They've got cat control, but it's Astralis at long. And we slow down again. And no, New Jersey is not near the Yukon or Montana. Just wanted to clear that up in case you guys actually thought I was being serious. I mean, I don't really know anywhere in America, no, like yeah. being real. Uh, like California's people, people on the people West, New York's on the I'm East. Like, the funny oh, part yeah, is interesting, people yeah. from America really don't know where places in America are. Yeah, dude, there's that great, pathetic. yeah. There's that great video where they- Oh, I've seen it, trust me. Yeah. Oh yeah, you already know what I'm talking about. <laughs> yes. Oh Look dear. this man, Hampus and his orb. Oh, they're gonna catch right. another glaive. Bites the dust and now an AK. In the hands of Rez, s going to try and get across, and he does live to tell the tale. Rez is showing a bit of mercy to come in late on this lurk in through the long doors. Hampus with his orb. He's already been more than a nuisance here. And so now Astralis going to try and run the gauntlet, but they've got to go against Hampus and his orb. It's keen for more. s -tag. We'll get the better of him. Rez now oh. arriving. And, oh, oh no. S-Tag, he does have the bomb. He cannot fall here. He needs to survive and get into this site. He's going to run across, and he does live to tell the tale. Dupree now going back to deal with the long player, and that's Rez swept aside. They make it look easy. NIP left in a two-on-three retake to try and pick up where uh, Hampus left off. But now that they've retrieved the AK, this might be a little bit tempting to hold on to. There's more guns here, and Nork wants it. There's an AK right there at the doors. He can get his hands on that. here as well, but so much time already ticked off of this bomb, right? Astralis, they can just hide. Yeah. So NIP, they're trying to do damage, and damage they will do. Magisk back in with the trade, and he gets it all under control. Astralis up 5-0. and oh. Yo, Who are these Astralis guys? These guys are nuts. Yeah, they're pretty good. I'm just kidding.
This is key as well. Estag going wide with the AWP to cover that, that top peak as well. Hampus has already found two with the AWP, and if he dropped another player there, that could have gone really bad for Astralis as Rez flanked as well. But Estag wide, gets the kill, doesn't lose the bomb to the flanking player, hits a lot of favorable timings there, and then Dupree just swings in like a madman and takes him down. Nice round for Astralis. Magis again denying the save. He did so outside of B, and now he's done it at long. So all of these buys have had to be in full investments for NIP. No trimmings left. Device holding long. Smoke in the face, and so he can't see Rez. Meanwhile, they come out of middle, but Hampus is here with the AWP. One of two flashed off, falling back, and Dupree doesn't want to fight again. The other orb is on Norkin side of B. So right now, Astralis, if they wanted to take a late long play, that would be available to them. They do seem interested by what this B bomb site has in store. Could that be their undoing? I don't know, man. Astralis are a pretty tough team to control Z onto, you know. They're going to start to move up onto the catwalk. It's the, uh, the undo key. Yeah, no, yeah, I like that. That, that one was good. up there. I'll, yeah, man, I'll put that one up on your nice line, actually. Yeah. You should put that one on a show reel somewhere. That one yeah, was Yeah, dude, thanks. I mean, that's actually in my starting five at the comedy club, man. Oh, is I it? Going to, yeah, Jokes yeah. Out the Window by Harry Russell. <laughs> gate, I should say, not out the window. Yeah, out of the gate, man. That's another big phrase. Here's a smoke down for the cross in mid. Out of the gate? Yeah. Huh. Flashing through the smoke. That's going to get tossed on through by Hampus. And he's trying to find something through the smoke. He gets very, very close. And there it is. The killing blow on a Dupree. Wow. Magis is clearly loving this new jersey, though. He's 10 and 1 right now. Gets his first death here in round number six. But in doing so, he was able to secure the entries into this B site. There's a bit of a standoff here between the orps of Device and Glaive trying to hold down these rotations. That's a filthy angle. That's wow. only a leg, though. Glaive not getting the killing below he was looking for, and then gets tagged Ooh. a bit in response. Device now in through mid. Twist, get a 180 and gets the better of him. S-Tag left in the clutch. There's still a player coming through the tunnels, but S-Tag, he's got it down to the 1v1, and he's just hiding. He's not giving the fight over. Rez desperately trying to deal with him, and S-Tag, <laughs> he's just being cheeky with it. He's oh getting my. peaky with it. And there's the round for Astralis. Six on the board. The whole time, Rez can't get too close. Like He's he's stuttering with his steps because he knows at any point S-Tag could just swing off one of those peaks and it could be the end of him. But that's such a great bait play, only taking a bit of damage through the corner and S-Tag stalls out long enough that the round is theirs. Oh my, this is a great showing for Astralis right now. And, you know, we haven't even really had gotten to see what NIP have to offer. They've just been absolutely avoided, misdirected. Forced to retake and save around this B-bomb site. Round after round after round. Astralis have had their number. They're in their heads. It's rent-free. It's 6-0. And NIP once again, the money. Busted. Oh, didn't get a chance to read your signs there. Probably a blessing. <laughs> Don't really know what they've said. But shout out to all you cool cats and dogs on the fan cams. As well as the even cooler... Cat jams in the chat. Here we go. Device with AWP. Looks downward towards middle. Who dare test me in middle? Said Device one time. Did anyone reply? Doesn't look like it. The twist has gained a lot of ground here. He's pushed up. They've played a pretty aggressive long setup for the ninjas of Jama's side. No one's really home. It's going to be S-Tag in charge of that portion of the map for the time being. Meanwhile, a lot of presence and a lot of attention given here to mid. They go out middle. If they try to go out middle, it's going to be a lot of pistols in their face. They might get pistol whipped. Yeah, I like this setup for an IP. They're gambling off of B, obviously, but Astralis have gone for a lot of mid plays in this map, even if it is only flashing a player through and then backing up. And so that's why you have Plopsky playing anti-flash and Rez able to swing alongside Hampus with Deagles. Uh, the bomb, you'll notice, back through spawn, all the way wrapping around for Glaive. This mid-to-be smoke, uh, smoke comes out, but it's only a fake. What that will allow when Astralis don't push behind it is the NIP will know and they can fast flank and they can be prepared for A, but how prepared can you really be with only pistols? Oh, twist. Shooting a little premature there. 
But that has given it up. And oh. wow, what a shot from Device. That's actually going to end Twist's life down there towards Long A. And it's going to begin this hit. 20 seconds left on the clock. Now, as Charles know they're up against these pistols, so they can go through just a little bit more easily. I say that, Plopsky with a big wrap around on the back lines. He's not the only one. Hampus, you asked who he was. Well, here he is. 12 seconds left on the clock, and he's going to get erased by S Tag. So, 7 0. Yeah, and we see that fast flank for MIP, right? Like, that would have been so valuable if anyone could get a kill on the site, if anyone could uh, buy time, just stall for a few seconds. And so on a rifle round, that's like a really good uh, way to catch Astralis off guard. They they were caught. The first player didn't know the, the NIP could be there so fast, and it's because they had the oh, info cool, from that mid fake. Dude, we got the scuba gear on. That's handy, you know. There, I mean, depending where he is, there is a hurricane back home right now where I'm from. So maybe he's just watching the match with that on in preparation. It's just in case it gets that bad. But he's in case he's he here for this Astralis NIP game. And that there is dedication. We love dedication. Oh, Hampus almost in with a shot. But it is the advantage residing with NIP. And it's the first time in a long while that they've been in this position. So... They're feeling happy with it. Can they find anything? Dupree's going to go through this smoke. He almost catches them out in one <laughs> and does follow up onto Plopsky. That there is a bit of a nail biter, but somehow Dupree comes out ahead. Hampus going to have to try and hold this down onto the USP. He's running in. He's grabbed an M4. Oh, this is ballsy, but he just gets annihilated by Device's Deagle. It looked like something cool was about to happen. I feel so betrayed, man. I thought Hampus was about to just show these Danes what's what. And instead, he gets hot swapped onto by a device. They know what is what, but they don't know what is what. It's more whom is who. That's what just happened there, man. Device. Where are they? Where is where? <laughs> what the? F <laughs> don't worry. We unplugged Trace's mic really quickly on that one. So uh, we got you under control. All right, I'm back now. Thanks. Whew. You watch yourself, Trace. You watch yourself watching yourself, Hugo. That's why I have three mirrors at the desk at any one point. You can just see yourself. Yeah. You got them all angled towards each other, so you just look at one and you can see all of them. There's like three me's in front of me. Nice. Well, there's two me's in my life, and that's because it's a meme. <laughs> 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 All right, oh, dear. <laughs> oh! Speaking of memes, 8 to Omega LOL, Nip. What the heck? Where are you? Yeah, man. Hampus was saying, like, yeah, we just need some confidence back. Well, I don't think this was what he had in mind when he made that statement. S Tag fast out through long, helped oh, out by boy. device. It's gotten a little bit messy. S Tag flashed in, wow. and that's Hampus just fully blind. Man, the flashes out at long have just yeah. been brutal. Like, NIP, you can't even blame them for not really knowing how to go up against this any time they've tried to... Well, I think they've managed a favorable trade at long once thus far in this entire game. And, you know, a lot of this is just coming off the back of the utility from Astralis. And that's the thing. Like, the idea of a more confident kind of you know, more uh, freestyling Astralis with the strong utility that they're known for is a pretty terrifying idea as an IP are learning the hard way. Rez with the one rifle other than the AWP. We'll find Dupree in middle, so that's something for NIP. And they've actually pushed B as well, so getting a bit more early information that Astralis are not going towards this site. They've held on to long the entire round. And NIP, they know exactly what to expect. They've pushed Cat, they've pushed Tons. They're still grouping mid right now, assuming Astralis are deeper than they are, but is this NIP setting up for an early save, giving in the towel or throwing in the towel already? Ah. No, they're going to rotate back in. I was wondering why they were taking so long to do so, figuring out the best way to approach this for Astralis. Do they want to retake through CT or CAT? And will they be able to stop the bomb on the cross? These are questions, and we're about to get the answers. They're going to throw a Molotov there towards the car to maybe slow down Astralis. 25 seconds on the clock. They can go for the cross. Will they? It looks like they're going to try. Glaive's going to get found in the said crossing. And he's not the only one. In fact, this might be the first NIP round. They're going to go for the plant. Shouldn't be a big problem, but Device has got a lot to cover here. And just oh. not seeing Plofsky peeking off Catwalk, and the elbow belongs to Nip. Now, three on one in a situation for Device to just refuse the defuse. Yeah, but it's Rez's long flank that might have him dead to rights. Device not realizing, and he's surely gone. There's Rez. With the flank, the defuse comes in, and IP. They do get their first there with just the uh, 
few rifles that were saved forward, some pistols around them, they're able to find success. So that, that's a nice little story for an IP, but you've got to build upon it. You know, you can't yeah. just have one chapter be a heroic comeback and then that's it. This needs to be the rest of what, act two and three. The, the, the acts are in a film or play or book. I don't, or... I don't know either. Anybody got any good guests? Quite a few. I don't know about acts, but maybe maybe rounds, maybe 30 rounds, maybe even more if we know the pro league. But yeah, the problem there for Astralis was they, <laughs> they weren't ready for NIP to have so much info and be aggressed in tunnels and catwalk. And so when Astralis are crossing long, sneaking, they're hoping that no one can hear them. But NIP had three players in CT just spamming the smokes. They knew what to expect and they killed two through the smokes. Rez flashed out, jumps through the long corner smoke and finds a device. So that's the man who's been offering up his life or well, more usually taking NIPs away at long as the rest of Astralis set up in the middle. And so they will go back and set up in the middle. No long control to be had though. This is a bit of a problem for Astralis. The first round where they've started a man down and untraded, uncomfortable. What will be the call to get them back into this two on five? I would say the best start would to be not flash banged into oblivion at long. That's all hindsight, of course. They are split 2-2. Two -two. And we're looking at the bomb in upper B. Still a minute on the clock. It's not above and beyond the call for Strauss to traverse off this site as it is and work their way through lower back of catwalk. But either way, they're going to have a tough go at it. Stack goes for a peek, sees a leg, can't land it. That Molotov's going to force Twist out of place. And it's going to force rest, rest tag. S tag to miss his shot. He's going to take a rest tag. Oh, that smoke is very deep, not covering anything from Hampus at the back of the site, and he is able to light it up. One, and not done. There's a second. Glaive on the box. Hampus knows, and he's got three as well from the back of B. NIP, late into this map, but late is better than never, and so they're here. Two rounds back-to-back -back as well. Five alive to build some cash, and Astral is quite the opposite problem. They're broke. Device has gone straight in with an orb, but I can guarantee we won't be seeing four AKs behind it. You gotta give Hampus a lot of credit, right? Because when he joined this team in Lecro's place, one of the big things for everyone was like, is that a downgrade in the firepower? Man, he's like one of the most consistent guys on NIP, it yeah. feels like. It's actually kind of nuts. Twist, though, woo, gets teched out of the round by S Tag. It's a little bit fancy, it's a little bit fast, and Astralis, they've sparred for this long control. And they've got it. They do get a man down into the pit as well. Now, Rez has seen this from the car. He's gonna try and remain hidden. But you can see Astralis already aren't really buying into it. They were just looking right at the car. They, they do have Molotovs as well on device, but he hasn't used it. He's discounting this car position. I wonder if that comes back to punish Astralis. Oh yeah, certainly does. Still, right here. Have, still have two Molotovs as well. They Ow. could try and clear this. Rez is being so patient and they're still sneaking up. Rez, Ooh. is he gonna get rewarded? Oh, they're right there. He sees the utility coming over. He's still alive and there it is. Rez with one, what? but only oh. one as Dupree gets the trade very, very quickly. Nork inside of the site putting on a bit of a show. Now is to get past Dupree and that is easier said than done. 20 points of health left on him. Taps the bomb to try and bait a peak. One man at cat, one in CT, and that's another fight given to Dupree. Tapping on the bomb now. How oh! Into the moors of Dupree he goes, and that is quite the round from this man. Nine on the board for Astralis, and all on the back of Dupree. Dupree! Fans in the uh, arena shout. <sighs> That's a great clutch for Dupree, man. The trade as well. It wasn't jump shotting from Dupree. It was S tag in the air. And Dupree comes in and saves him uh, despite Astralis not uh, calling the car, not mollying it. Even though they had the util, Rez only gets away with one. And yeah, yeah, even Clay <laughs> Thank shocked you. at how so Dupree much. pulls that round out of nowhere. And that was a that was not a good buy for Astralis in terms of like the weaponry, right? They had the orb, but uh, yeah, we, we saw Galil's in there as well. It was a bit of a broken one. It was their economy on the rocks and they've saved it with a clutch from Dupree. Four in the round. In a round that Astralis had no business winning. Car wasn't clear. That was the first indicator right there that that round was going to go the other way. Didn't happen. Dupree winning a one on three. Not supposed to happen. Still happened. Some of y'all are mad and that's okay too. It shows. An IP back to the double orb though. Hampus is joining Nork again. Not taking it towards B. It's a fast cat for Hampus and he finds the opener once more. This man always at the forefront of those early engagements for NIP. Three and two in the opening jewels himself.
Last time Astralis was stuck with this position, they grouped up and went for a mid to B split. It was denied. This time it's back to long. Rez on the car once more. Could be a problem. Oh, no, Sorry. they're not falling for it this time, or are they? Because they've mollied it. Rez, Ooh, boy. he gave up the aim of the game, but he's still good for a kill, and even a dink onto Dupree. Magis now down in the pit. He gets dropped as well. Rez has just lit wow. them up at long, and he's made this round doable. Glaive, he just had to sit back in his chair moments ago and watch as Dupree fend it off in a 1v3. Well, now he's faced with the same feat. They're asking a lot of Glaive here. Back in action, back in the server, running up to this orb at long. Hampus in the sight. <laughs> and he just best Glaive straight up. Didn't need the wrap from long, didn't need support from Plopski. Hampus has got it all under control. Yeah, didn't quite end out like that in the last round. But yeah, Rez, props to the man. Getting the shot on the pit player insured certain death here for Astralis. We've seen so many players AWP in this game for Astralis. I think we've seen four out of five of them pick it up, all except Dupree. Uh, you know, Glaive, or Magis rather, had it that round in the pit. Obviously, when Device is dying early, uh, that's that's when you'll see someone like S-Tag or Glaive grab it, as they have. But yeah, that's uh, always interesting. A lot more teams to seem to be a lot more free-flowing with the AWP in recent times. And just kind of handing it over to whoever they deem necessary, I guess. But right now, to be play for Astralis, broke by again. Hampus here with the orb at the back of the site. Oh. Yeah, it's essential here for Hampus. He lines it up. He even has the shot, but he, well, he catches a grenade instead. But it's Popsky, really, to return some of the damage here. And what's come down to a three on three. These guns are going to get recovered for Astralis. They should get a plan out of this pretty easily. There it goes. So how are they going to play this retake? What's on the cards for the Ninjas? Ooh. Grenade coming in, landing right at Glaive's feet. Harry Russell, take it over for me. Yeah, man, that nade was pretty nasty. Glaive down low, device. Oh, <laughs> stabbed to death by Twist. Through the edge of the smoke, Dupree and Glaive, the two players that were fortunate enough to retrieve these weapons. Oh, no, Dupree okay. faces the same fate. Glaive, 1v3, they're already in the site. They're wrapping the tunnels. There was no hope for him. And the defuse gonna come on in. Now, that was a bit of a weird one there, right? Twist spamming down device. That's kind of excusable. Dupree then tries to get a little cute with it and like goes, it again. goes to the same spot. Like, well, if they just killed device here, then they won't expect, oh no, wait. No, they did expect, oh dear. Well, certainly yeah. they won't expect me here. Yeah. <laughs> well, the, the whole reasoning is that he's waiting for the, they're waiting for the tunnels wrap, that being NIP, right? So Twist, he, he has nothing to do but wait that smoke out. And in all the meantime, there's a flank coming in. So if he can draw attention away and uh, even spam for no kills there, that's that's good enough to buy time. Oh dear, Glaive could have gotten out long there, but he bails out and doesn't take too much damage from the Molotov. That's a Harry Russell Molotov. Uh, I've seen one before. 15 20. damage in 26 hits. Yeah, and that's just because of Harry's ill-placed Molotovs, not yeah. that he was using them right. Of course. Of course. Of course. Ark now getting, of course, himself. Course. Might be served up. Oh, yeah, but this has all gone off course here in this round as they've gone up <laughs> through the catwalk. Rez, oh, the Org is just wow, tearing them no. a new one. And it's all left on to Dupree, as Rez has just annihilated the rest of his team. What do you do when you're Dupree? You got two HP and a Deagle. You got some nice looking gloves on, man. That's pretty tasty. But is that going to help you all too much? The answer, shockingly, it's no. Yeah, I like those Navi gloves. Those are pretty cool. Yeah, man. Rez. Dupree to Navi, the next move. Yeah, I think that's what they're saying. I don't know who they are, but they've said it. Look at that, man. It's like <laughs> they all get running out like, no, no, just trade, just trade. And it's like with every person that's saying to trade, it gets worse and worse. Rez just Beat keeps em. the org at that one headshot height. And they're all... <laughs> Four headshots. Like, yeah. that's just crazy off of that as well. Last round of the half. This one's gone fast. And AO for Astralis has gotten tighter by the second. NIP have been biting back on the CT side. But a B play seems to be the order of the day. And there's no one here. Hampus just checked mid off of the timing. NIP four long. Back in for Hampers. Quick shot. Flashed out. He's going to go back for more. But the smoke is down.
round. Now it's down to Luck. Oh. And uh, wow, it fires for both sides. Hampers hits a shot through the smoke and Dupree responds. s tag spamming back. Twist taking a lot of damage. There's a load of util for NIP. That's the benefit of Astralis taking B early. NIP haven't used any grenades, but do they get the chance to use them as more smoke spam comes through? It's a barrage for, our, uh, for Astralis. They've got more smokes for the door as well, as long as they timed them right. Flash for Magisk. He won't go out the window with it. And NIP retake from three mid. Yeah, here comes Rez, though, at the top of tunnels. This is the last round of the half. There's not going to be any saving today. What will the AUG do? It will win the fight with Device. Now tucked in quietly, but not for long. It's Astralis and Dupree. Wow. They come alive. Dupree continuing to reign supreme. And S-Tag with the last kill of the round. We see a 10-5 half, and it's looking pretty good for Astralis up to this point. Let's find out if they can keep it up in the second half of play. Play is done and over with, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the ESL Pro League Season 12. We've got Astralis and we've got the Ninjas in Pajamas ready to go back at it on Dust 2. This is the very beginning of the sea or well, season. I was going to say the very beginning of the match, actually, not the beginning of the season. We've actually already encroached and even pro posted past the uh, the halfway point, I think. You okay? I don't know. <laughs> I'm thinking about it. And the, you know, the more words I speak, the, you know, the weirder it's going to get, I guess. The more rounds we see, the winner it's getting right now in the server. Yeah. A strong start for Astralis, but well, NIP pull things back and they get on course, on track so, for a bit way, of a comeback. 
Okay, speak on it, Harry. Zaret is actually just 21 and 10, like that Casual. far above the rest of the squad. Yeah, I haven't dude. even noticed that he's been popping off this much. My goodness. Did you not see that org 4K? Actually, yeah, the org 4K now makes a lot of sense. Well, here's the B play Magisk. You hate players in this position. NIP hate Magisk. And they're looking to deal with him. They're looking to flush him Ooh, out. Magisk still being a nuisance. Ow. Snap down another. But they what? do finally deal with him. Still, it's three for Magisk. Three for Rez on the other side. And 24 so now, now. It's two on two. Astralis trying to retake this B site. They've got device flanking in through the tunnels, but Rez scares me. Hugo, you were right to pick him as the player to watch. Because look at him go. Why aren't we watching him? <laughs> He's the player we need, <laughs> and Hampus might need support here because Device battling back with a USP. Not an easy kill, but Hampus has it under lock and key, and S-Tag in a clutch on B. Rez is tucked. He's trying to force the swing. He's done that. Okay. Hampus dead, but time is ticking, and no kit. Rez forces the fight, and 25 to his name with only six in the game. It's Rez going insane. Nice. That come straight off the top of your brain? Yes, indeed. Tip of the tongue, the teeth, the lips. It's actually almost the lyrics to a song there, Hugo. Yeah. But in it, they use words that would not feel right coming out of my mouth and would not be suited to a broadcast setting. So, NIP in with the investment. <laughs> Blade scouting mid. Both, I guess, in the term of getting information, but also with the scout. The rest of Astralis setting up over here towards the catwalk. And Dupree even looks like he wants to push the tunnels for a bit of information. He's like toying with the idea. He just crept forward. Take my word for it. He did. He's still there jiggling now. Uh, he hasn't moved. Well, we'll You're see lying, about Harry. that. We'll see. Keep your eye on uh, Dupree. Only one of them, though. Use the rest of your eye. Only use half of one and then use the rest of your eyes to look. I'm not getting to make sense of that. <laughs> Trace Still down. hasn't pushed the B tunnels, of course. He's actually left B altogether. <laughs> and I only knew that because I was able to keep one eye on him. Yeah, well, Dupree knows B is clear, and the info is here for Astralis as Hampus gets up long. He is alone. Where's that bomb going? Is he going back out mid, or is he going to try and split catwalk here? Hampus is so deep, and Astralis don't even know either. He's hiding behind the car, mid flash down. Dupree waiting, double D, spam the headshot on the second bullet device oh. with two of his own, and that's the bomb dropped, retrieved and secured by Dupree, who comes back in from the, from the mid side. Astralis crunch NIP. I didn't see what happened to Hampus on car, but safe to say he died as well. Yeah, yeah he's dead, man. He's, he's done. That all came crumbling down for NIP. Like a burning ring of fire. And it burns and it burns. This the ring the, of fire. This is the weirdest scoreboard I've ever seen. Yeah. Uh, like It's pretty lopsided if you look at it, like all things considered. Blade There's and 30, Popsky with four kills each. There's 31 kills on all of NIP apart from Rez, and Rez is 25. Like, that's kind of insane, isn't it? They're running the gauntlet out long, and at this point, I'll just be giving Rez direct orders like he's some kind of missile. You know, you just point him in a direction, and you send him in to go and cause some chaos. Here he is looking out from the pit while the rest of NIP, they leave. So they've kind of said to Rez, you just hold this down with a deagle. And he says, do you really think I can hold long with just a deagle? And then they say, man, look at your kills. Like, of course you can. Have some faith, Rez. And that's what he's got. They try and get up the catwalk while all this is going on. Look at on, they want to try and split into this A site right now, do NIP. Glaive's come in to help out Device over on the catwalk. That smoke gonna buy Device oh, even more time, and he just pushes through it. You think this is an offensive smoke? Nah, it's an offensive smoke. And he gets up in the face of Plopsky. Another one where that came from. Hampus tries his turn, but through the gap, Device with another shot. Glaive, quick one, finds his pick of the game. He might be able to multi-kill as well. Two pistols running at him, and Glaive spraying. He's got a second, one more, one shot. It's all he needs. It's Nork with a D. Oh, boy, it's getting hairy, but Device will trade Glaive, who actually does die to the warpang there. Not a worry. Profitable round for Astralis, four up by the end of things, and 12 to six now, NIP broken once again. These four spies have not been working out for them, and now Astralis leading into this T side. NIP may have won the pistol, but back-to-back -back rounds for Astralis. You understand why NIP force, right? Their, their money's already kind of dug after they lose the second round, but now with that not going their way, they have to give 13 away.
You could be onto something here, Hugo. Not gonna Sweet. say it would be real. Oh, oh now we see the priorities. Knock, just oh. trying to put the ball back in its home. Let me go a hole. Oh, that was a pretty good kick. Yeah, that was a, that, man, Knock's got quite the leg on him. Oh, don't shoot the ball. You might deflate it. Look at this, man. Oh, Knock, down, passing it out of the uh, goal yeah. hole. I hit a Cruyff turn here in a second, followed by a rainbow. Let's see what he's oh, got. Oh, here it is. He's laid them up perfectly. And Astralis, the defense, to rush him back. But Nork taking his time. Plopski trying to save it. Oh. Does oh. almost get it out of there. Short-sided. It's anyone's game now as Nork chasing it down. They're trying to clear oh. it from the box, but it's all heated up a little bit here. They've lost the pitch. Oh, Look at that. It's, it's rolling. Down. They're getting oh, out. boy, they're, they're taking it. Never been done before. Into the B site. Let's see how this rush goes. Five That's Glocks with there. the soccer ball moving abruptly into the B tunnels, but actually getting quiet. Oh. I'm sure that noise is really throwing a spanner in the works. This might actually be one of the weirder rounds of Counter-Strike oh. this season, so make sure you're paying attention. Oh. On to Plopski. Plopski. The twist, but also to glitch. Now, <laughs> they try and put it in. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> The keeper saves it once again. Oh dear, the red card's out now, Astralis. <laughs> it's all gone wrong. 13 on the board for the Dades. Messi, head in hands, can't believe what he's seeing. <laughs> Neymar looking onward. And this one, unbelievable scenes here. Really well done, teamwork. They almost get the ball in the goal hole, but ultimately, the keeper and Majisk has kept this one alive. <laughs> <laughs> Got to have fun with it, right? If you're an IP, nope, no, not canceled. allowed. Fun's cancelled. No more enjoyment. Wipe those smiles off your faces. This is Astralis you're facing, and boy, are they bringing the heat. Molly out long. Hampers, he is trapped behind the bins, and he might get dumpstered in this round. S-Tag hasn't realized that Molly. Not fully spread it. And no realization yet. The nades are long. S-Tag not going to check it. Hampers with a swing. And that's lovely stuff. NIP for the man up once again. Back out with a flash for Glaive. Hampers is so blind. He's hoping he has support, but it comes in too late. Magis trades for two with the bomb at his feet. And Nork is low with the AWP as well. He's scoped. Magis is on the right side. Resmoked down. And that's a real problem for Nork, who just takes a timing shot. Dupree hasn't left B. The anchor <laughs> is waiting for Rez. And Nork has run, but he's been hurt as well. This is a bittersweet round for NIP. <laughs> How mad are you if you're Rez and you just like, you know what? I'm going to make it through B. No problems. There's no one here. I've got all this room to run. I was just thinking how that last round was a true definition of esports. You know, like it doesn't get any closer than that. It's just those moments. I don't think anyone's going to forget. Are we going to forget this moment though? Nork. In a pretty rough spot, like has a trillion angles to yep. check and a trillion, that's like more than 10 and that's far more than he was prepared to check. 14 on the board for Astralis and attack pause called in for NIP. Now, they're gonna start to look at how they wanna go about getting this control of the uh, the football. They need to have a bit more possession. The passes yeah. have been on point. Really bad touches um, right there throughout. Yeah, yeah. And you know, they, they, they've had a lot of, man, they, so they've had the ball a lot, but they just haven't had many shots on target and that's yes. the problem, right? Uh, Trace, you're the resident expert on the matters. I don't know if we're playing football or handball here. Well, that was a soccer ball, football, Harry. Yeah. yeah, let's go with that. Um, and, you know, I'm just going to kind of run it back here. It, you know, if you're in the stands, if you're in the arena tonight, you, you cannot be happy with what you've just seen. Obviously, you know, regardless of the server conditions, it's just the will to fight from the ninjas. They they just seemingly don't have it anymore. But they're going to get that chance. This. This timeout is going to cause for a reconsideration of the game plan. And then, of course, you have to think about what substitutions you're going to want to make if you're on the side of Astralis. I mean, you do have a 15-man lineup, so who's coming on and off the pitch? That's the real question. Yeah, we're not saying that the fans should crowd the pitch, right? Or maybe they should. Maybe Imagine they if should. Twitch chat rushed us too. Rush oh, dude, that would be cool, right? It would be, like, make that happen. be like that scene from like Alien versus Predator where like all the Predators <laughs> like face it off against like the hordes of aliens. Okay. And, and that would be like Astralis, like back to back, you know, trying to hold off against Twitch chat. I really didn't know what movie you're going to reference, but I, I suppose Alien versus Predator. Yeah, I can see it. He does bring it back, doesn't he? He does a good job with those. But right now, NIP, I'm not sure if I believe in them bringing it back. It's 14-6 down. I'm just going to talk over you two. And uh, Astralis, they are rich. Look at this buy for NIP. Three Ds, two Galils. Yeah. 
do it. Oh, we're talking about aliens, but it's Astralis trying to get you the F odor here. And they, uh, <laughs> they're on 14, and they're very, very close to running away with this one. The Deagle's over on short. This is the last attempt, really, for an IP. They've left Ooh. themselves with four spies till the end of this game. They're up on the catwalk. They do get past the vice down here in middle. They know that the AWP is there, and they look like they want to challenge it. Glaive is actually getting flashed into the catwalk, and so now he's jammed himself down, down cat. Has this forward position. NIP just grinding to a halt down in middle thanks to the utility from Astralis. And this is a pretty rough spot to be in. Everything they've attempted hasn't really given them the results they were looking for. They've been left with this tiny little strip of the map down in middle. Glaive's been allowed to fall back into the drop down spot as well. They flash a player out through the mid doors, so they do get in. But look at the rotation from Astralis. There's four players in middle. There's not even that many for NIP. Rez with the Deagle trying to come alive. He's in with a double. Flash through for Dupree, and he gets it all back under control. Magis going to go through the smoke <laughs> into the back line, and it leaves it on Hampus. 1v2, but not an easy feat whatsoever. Both players down here. And while he does deal with the first S tag, trying to play the tie game. Ooh, Hampus did oh get God. into the B site and he's lived to get this bomb down. But with two points of health, they are asking a lot of the little Hampus that could. Here he is, takes the peak and s -Tag gets the better of him. I love that round for Astralis, right? Considering NIP do exactly what they wanted to do in terms of forcing out the utility and then going for a mid to B play. They were trying to push Glaive back off Cat so he wasn't able to re-aggress and come in on a flank and, and was a little more scared of that A site. And and there we go, NIP, they they accomplished their early objective of getting grenades out. They go for the mid to B and Astralis go, well, we can't afford to retake. Like if we, if we retake, we lose. And so Astralis just throw bodies into middle. Four there, as you said, Harry. Great deeks for Rez, but do pretty with a double spot. Spray down, damage on the third, and then, you know, Glaive comes through as well. I love that for Astralis, just crunching on mid. And let's just, you know, hypothetically say that Rez doesn't get any kills. Let's just say that his entire game hasn't existed as it has up to this point. Where are Nip then? I don't want to think about that, Trace. That is not a pretty picture, is it? Yeah, he's had a lot of kills on rounds they've lost as well, right? Like 27, man. That's crazy. He's top of the server. I don't know how he's done it. And he might not do it anymore because Astralis are a round away from taking their pick in this series. Train is the map choice of the Swedes. There might be Train that we need. Astralis have their way. Train you must. Train you need. <laughs> is that Yoda or Bubbles? Or Yoda? Yeah. It's, my best, it's my best Yoda, guys. Sorry, that's about all I got. I mean, they're pretty similar characters. Wise men, really. Exactly, yeah. yeah. Ahead of oh, their timing. No. Dupree, he's ahead of the timing as nice. well. He has caught the perfect timing onto Plopsky. Now he's waited, and the longer he waits, maybe Plopsky turns around. But Glaive is oh. also in T board. So I guess, hey. you know, uh, everything that you thought you knew about CS, forget about it. Because here's Astralis just absolutely everywhere. Oh, dear. Just because, like, what? Oh, my God. <laughs> All right, thankfully Glaive was there. <laughs> Look, man, if that can happen to anyone, it can happen to Magisk as well. And there we go. Luckily enough, Glaive is there to bail him out. Nork and Twist, they have gotten the bomb down. They have given themselves a bit of a chance here. But a two on three, it's not an, it's not an easy spot to be in by any stretch of the imagination, especially with this utility still in the hands hmm. of Astralis. But there's Nork in with the first, still alive at Goose. And he goes back for a little bit more. Now Magisk has brought him down. Not been able to... Finish the job, there's the name oh, to do it, and s -Tag <laughs> is able to deal with Twist. The defuse comes in, and it's the Danes on Dust locking in their map pick. They go 1-0 up in this series, and now we move to the map pick of the Swedes on 